Tip number 343 from the book 501 Contractor Tips. I know this sounds like a no-brainer, but uh, we're in the chapter on uh, building contract requirements. Scope of work is probably going to be the most important. The name of the people, their address, that's important. The scope of work is probably going to be more important. You've got to provide as much detail as you possibly can or as much detail as you think is going to be required for a particular job. Now, you know, a contract for $500 or less, you know, um, you could sign it and say, hey, I'm, I'm changing out a door. You know, it's a two-foot door, hall entry door or whatever. Um, uh, something that's $1,000 might need to be a little more specific. $10,000, you're going to have to have a lot more detail in. $100,000, you're going to have to take the time to put as much detail in as you possibly can. You know, when it comes to uh, remodeling a bathroom and you say, okay, paint the walls, um, fix the ceiling, you know, um, install the skylight, and you don't have a model number on that skylight, you don't have a paint color. Um, this could be a nightmare for a contractor. So not going to make a long uh, video out of this. The um, scope of work in a contract, in my opinion, and it's just kind of what I'm sharing with you, it needs to uh, kind of run with the amount of money that you can't afford to lose or you can't afford to lose. You know, if, if $700 isn't that big big of a deal to you, then have that your maximum. $700 in the name, a brief description of the job, you know, um, something between $700 and $5,000, you know, um, you maybe have something to where you need to have the uh, model numbers of the product, something like that. Anything else than that, you're going to have to take the time. I mean, you cannot afford to. Go to a job that uh, a client, someone's going to be spending $30,000, and it might be something to where you're, you're doing 10 different things. And, uh, and again, this is something that, you know, for me, I've really had good luck having the owners purchase some of these products. Hey, I might not make my money on my markup on the products, but at least I don't have to worry about product failures. I don't have to worry about purchasing the wrong color, you know, and this goes to bathtubs, kitchen sinks, um, you name it, the cabinet hardware, you know, just something to consider. It's one less thing that you need to worry about. But if you're someone who needs to make money off the markup on that job, I understand going to have to put the detailed information in there. Um, this isn't just free money you're going to get. Detail as much information as you possibly can, and that's part of your markup, part of your responsibility. You as the contractor, not the homeowner, not your client, um, because if they can say, yeah, I would like it to be brown, and you provide brown paint, uh, you just might be in a world of hurt.